Mexico is often depicted as a sepia-toned hellhole full of drug lords donning a sombrero collapsed on the highway sleeping up against a cactus after drinking too much tequila. But that my friends is bullshit because Mexico is a melting pot. It's a country you can come to to experience sensational beaches, big modern city life, expansive deserts, historical ruins, you name it. But there's one part of being in Mexico that I really enjoy, and that is coming to a magic town. Today we are in yet another Pueblo Magico. We're in Tepoztlan. So let's go and explore. As often occurs in our life, we have metaphorical mountains to climb on a daily basis. But today, as in many of my videos, we're climbing an actual mountain. We're climbing Tepot Teco. There's a pyramid up there, Aztec ruins, you know I love that kind of thing. Brilliant. I've come here from Cuenavaca. It cost me 21 pesos on the bus. Very affordable. You can do this from Mexico City as well. It's uh, very much a day trip you can do if you are on vacation in Mexico City and want to experience a magic town. And just to go back in time a little bit, you know, I was in the Zocalo earlier, walking down the street with the cobbled streets and the artwork. You know, it's classic Mexico. I felt it was very cute and, you know, small and picturesque and kind of rustic, you know. And it's a real opportunity to, you know, see real Mexican life, locals going about their business, selling flowers, markets, food, that kind of thing. So um, it's just beautiful. I'm loving this place. It's very green. As you can see, this path up isn't so treacherous so far. You've got nice little streams down there. And from what I understand, this pyramid or temple on the top of the mountain dates back to the 13th century. And it's all to do with Tepoztecatl, who is, wait for it, the god of pulque. Who knew there was a god of pulque? If you don't know what pulque is, it's a Mexican traditional drink. I've had it many times before, different flavors. It's usually like a white, colour, it's quite thick, and um, also this is to do with uh, Quetzalcoatl, sorry for the pronunciation, it's to do with um, the serpent god, Aztec, god of wind, you might remember him from Teotihuacan, which is another trip you can do. This is where it gets a bit steeper. You know, the steps have gone, you've just got rocks to climb on. But look at all these amazing trees. You know, roots hanging and down there. Stunning. Reminds me very much of some places I've been in Asia, like Malaysia. Cameron Highlands, I did a lot of hiking there. Way back in the beginning, three years ago. And it's kind of like Bernal as well, near Queretaro. Dios mío, amigos. Estoy muy cansado. Tengo mucho calor, pero tengo agua. Gracias, señorita. Dios mío. I think I might be on the home stretch now. This isn't the most difficult thing I've done, but I think it's about two and a half thousand meters up. So obviously as you get higher up, the air gets thinner, less oxygen, altitude sickness. But hopefully we'll be there soon. This looks promising. When there's a sign like this, it always usually means near the top and I think there's a staircase up there between these huge rocks monoliths I don't know 
Look forward to seeing the view from the top. Depot Deco. We're here, Hans. Look what I can see. I can see the pyramid. Rejoice, everyone. So here we are. Lovely. Pyramid, temple. And um, conveniently, my um, phone battery has decided to drain from 50% to zero um, the moment I got up here. Um, so fortunately, my laptop was in my bag for some reason, um, meaning that I could plug it in to that. But we're non-stabilized right now, as you can see. So we're going, you know, old school. But, you know, lovely. Blue skies. Why do they always build these things high up on mountains? I'm sure I remember why, but I'll probably remember later. But, um, spectacular. The view is decent. I have seen better, if I'm honest. Real de Catorce was much more spectacular. Um, I think the lighting's not fantastic right now, so um, that's probably why, but you know, very green. And it just shows another difference, different side of Mexico. Um, you know, green, rural, residential, um, a bit more out in the sticks. Again, it's like somewhere like Asia or even somewhere like Peru that I've been to. I'll stop waffling now because I need to go back down. <laughs> As always, the thing that always amazes me about things like this is just how was this built? Uh, the work that must have gone into actually building this and, um, you know, transporting building materials up here. Or did it come from the rock around here? Who knows? But, you know, um, spectacular as always. I need to go back down now because uh, I need to be in Mexico City at my Airbnb by 8 o'clock and it's about half past one, so let's get moving. So I've just climbed down the mountain in 35 minutes, go me, and I've just got this sausage thing, absolutely spectacular barbecue. I can't wait to eat this. Mm. That is heavenly. What more do you need? After climbing up a mountain, this is spectacular. Mm. I know it's only a sausage with barbecue sauce on, but I tell you, after enduring that climb, it's the best thing ever. Right, race against time now. Mexico City, here we come. So I've got to say, even though it's only been very, very brief here in Tepotzlan, I would quite happily come back here, just look at it. You know, if I had some more time, relax. This could be a great place to write my book. It's beautiful. And of course, down here, there are plenty of places to have pulque, pulquerias, um, and ice cream as well. This, this town is known for its different flavors of ice cream. Um, I did a whole video on pulque in Guadalajara, so if you want to check that one out, you can hit the link up above. Right, we're really going old school. I'm at Ixmatlac station, bus station, back to Cuernavaca. Okay, this is real life travel here and now. We're still shaky because I can't bother to get the stabilizer, stabilizer out. Um, it's about half past four. We're going to get to Mexico City on time. It kills me. Hola amigos, Mexico is a melting pot. Oh fuck. <laughs>